Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building an RF field strength meter. Now, I built this little circuit so I can monitor the RF output of my LoRa radio modules so when I'm writing code, I know if they're transmitting or not. Now, the heart of this circuit is this RF power detector module, and they're available online. And the DC voltage input is 7 to 15 volts, and the frequency range is 100 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. And they're very sensitive. The dynamic range is minus 72 dBm to minus 2 dBm, with a corresponding uh, voltage output of 0.5 volts to 1.65 volts. Now that DC voltage is fed into the Arduino Nano, into the ADC, analog to digital converter, and then the Nano will give a corresponding uh, display with these uh, five LEDs to the signal strength of the input of this module. So when I'm writing code and I want to transmit on my LoRa radio module, I could tell if it's transmitting by getting the proper indication on the LEDs. Okay, I have my LoRa module powered up and it's connected to my computer. So I could send it some data and, and key up the LoRa module and then you'll see the field strength indication on my field strength meter. So I'll send the string hello world And you see I'm getting full reading on full, full bars, full LEDs on my display, indicating it's, it's, it's putting out the proper power. And I also have a receiver on so you can actually hear the data. So I know that my lower module is transmitting properly. Okay, this field strength meter is very broadband, so we could pick up a cell phone signal. So I'll make a call on my cell phone. You can see it there, initiating a call. And I'll cancel. There's your disconnect data. So there it is, picking up the RF output of my cell phone. Okay, I also have an FM bug transmitter that transmits on 88 to 108 megahertz, that's their FM broadcast band. So that's it there. You can see it's picking it up. If I bring it close to the antenna. So that's the capability of picking up a very small signal from a little FM radio transmitter. Okay, the last test will be my wireless Wi-Fi router. So I have my circuit turned off, so I'll turn it on. As soon as I turn it on, it will be picking up my uh, Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi router. So there it is. There's a signal. You can see it's pretty strong. So it can pick up the 2.4 gigahertz signal from my Wi-Fi wireless router. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my RF field strength meter. And it's powered by 9 volts, a 9 volt battery. And that's fed up into a diode, a 1 in 4007 diode for reverse polarity protection and through a power switch. Now when the switch is on, it's going to feed 9 volts to the RF power detector, VCC to ground. So it will also feed 9 volts to the Arduino Nano, to the VN and ground. Now when we get a signal in the antenna of the RF power detector from minus 72 dBm to minus 2 dBm, we'll get a voltage output of the RF power detector from 0.5 volts to 1.65 volts, and that's fed into A0. That's uh, analog to digital converter A0 of the Arduino Nano. Now the Nano will take that voltage and will give out the corresponding LEDs to come on. So the more signal we have, the more LEDs will come on. So we have LEDs from D4 to D12, D4, D6, D8, D8, D10, and D12, and they'll come on corresponding to the signal strength. So that's, it's a very simple uh, schematic. So all you need is a piece of Vero board and mount these on the Vero board and solder them up and you got yourself a field strength meter. Okay, here's the code that's running on my Arduino Nano. Now it's written in fourth, but you could use any programming language that you're familiar with. So first of all, I write some code that will turn on either all the LEDs, that's five LEDs, or turn them all off and every, everywhere in between from 0 to 5. This is my main program, it's called FSM, Field Strength Meter. So I initialize all my GPIOs as outputs and I select my ADC analog to digital converter uh, A0. Then it goes into a begin until loop which is running all the time and what it's doing is constantly reading the ADC level and here you see if it's less than 210 
turn all LEDs off. So that's a weak signal. And if it's greater than 283, that's a very strong signal, then you turn all five LEDs on. Now in between, these are all the signals in between where we turn on either one, two, three, or four LEDs depending on the ADC value. And I've calibrated them with a signal source. So I know what each, each LED, what level on each LED is. So that's it there. So you just run that and that will give you an output that's proportional to the field strength that's being received by the module. Okay, so that's how to build a field strength meter. So you take all your parts, mount it on a, a Vero strip board, like this here. And I have a little boring tool where I create little isolation channels in my, in my board and I just solder it up and that's my circuit. Now this is a very sensitive circuit so you've got to be careful you don't overload the input. Um, there is protection diodes on the very input of the of the chip on this power detector module but if you would put in something too strong like say like a 5 watt portable I wouldn't use something like that. That'd be too powerful. That could overpower and could actually damage the the clamping diodes on the input of this module. But that's a very sensitive little field strength meter or not you could only detect your lower module but any other transmitting uh, device that's transmitting any type of RF power.